Hello my online flock and welcome to another episode of that award winning, because I say so, show The Fitted Hat Fool. Today this is a very special episode of The Fitted Hat, Fitted Hat, Fitted Hat Fool as we are here in Louisville, Kentucky, former home of the Kentucky Colonels. And over there is the Louisville Gardens where the Kentucky Colonels used to play. And on top of my hat, on top of my hat, on top of my head is a Kentucky Colonels hat. So I'm wearing a hat of an old ABA team right in front of an old ABA arena. Now with all that out of the way, let's get down to the hat. Now on the front of the hat, you see this Kentucky Colonels patch. It's red, white, and blue, says Kentucky Colonels, and it has a K and a C, which is also a basketball rim uh, and a hoop or a toilet seat with a giant basketball in it, your choice. Uh, and then the hat is blue all the way around and a blue bill, black sweatband, and then in here it says 210 fitted, and it is a size 7 and 5 8. And uh, over there is a uh, Tark bus uh, here, just happens to be there. So uh, now, this is a homemade hat, and then I bought the hat, and uh, my beautiful wife sewed the patch on for me. Because like these ABA hats, I've seen them on eBay, like $50, forget about it, you know. I bought this hat for eight bucks, I got the patch for uh, six, seven dollars, fifteen dollars, and I got a hat. That's a lot less. A lot less. Hey. That's a lot less than forty-nine ninety-five. There goes another bus. Oh, that bus is finally going. Must have been stuck at a light. But anyway, uh, so right behind me, with this hat, and there goes the bus, is the Louisville Gardens, where the Kentucky Colonels played from nineteen sixty-seven to nineteen seventy. Then they went to Freedom Hall from seventy to seventy-six. And then uh, the ABA took the Nets, Nuggets, Spurs, and Pacers, and the, Kern <laughs> the Colonels were no more. Now, it's funny, it sounds like there's an R in there, but there's no R. You'd think it would be like C-O-R-N-E-L-S, Colonels, or K-E-R-N-E-L-S if you like popcorn. But it's C-O-L-O-N-E-L-S which is technically colonials, but I guess that sounds ridiculous. So it's colonels, but there's no R, but there should be an R because you hear it. Instead, there's a 1C, 1S, 1N, and uh, two O's, and two L's. Uh, and yeah, uh, yeah, two O's, a C, and N, two L's, and an S. Uh, you know, so there's that. And uh, right over there is the church. And then over there is the River City Bank. But anyway, so as I said, right behind me, that's the Louisville Gardens, where the Kentucky Colonels played from 1967 to 1970 until they went to Freedom Hall from 70 to 76. And this is a big deal, at least to me, and you know, a fellow ABA aficionados, because I'm in front of an actual facility that hosted ABA basketball. Um, I guess it'd be fun if the Colonels were still there. I could just... Uh, a couple hours away from Nashville, you'll see the NBA. Of course, I could go see the Grizzlies in Memphis, which is probably going to happen one of these days. But it would have been nice to have the Colonels around. I'd already have a hat. But anyway, there you go. There's the Louisville Gardens. And here is my Colonel's hat going by. And as always, thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your loved ones to subscribe to my channel to fit a half full and if you uh, get that Ouija board out tell people in the afterlife that you, you get a hold of uh, you know to um, click on my channel and so click the subscribe button and the bell for notifications tell everybody that especially people that on this side of the afterlife and or that side of the afterlife who may have gone to the Louisville Gardens me I've never been inside the building I don't even know if they're using it anymore but there it is an old ABA arena with an ABA hat. Thanks for watching.